Hello there YouTube, this is the Aqua Student, and I'm here with the 55 gallon African Cichlid Tank. In this episode, we're going to look at each of the individual fish that I have in this setup, get some uh, close-up shots of each of them. Next, we'll move on to the equipment and what I'm using to keep this system running as smoothly as possible. Finally, we'll wrap up this episode with my plans for the tank in the future. Let's start off with a full tank shot.
55 gallon African sickly tank. Equipment overview. Keeping the tank healthy and clean is arguably one of the best purchases I have made in the aquarium hobby. A Fluval 306 canister filter. Debris is removed from the filter intake in the center of the setup. Clean water is then returned by the outflow in the upper right hand corner. Two Hydor Corellia nano pumps control the currents. The 1025 prevents dead spots, while the 425 supplements surface agitation. The cichlids are kept warm by a 200 watt Acron heater and a 100 watt Fluval heater. Two 6500K 48 inch T8s illuminate the display from a home built canopy. final section I want to talk a little bit about my future plans for this tank. Uh, one thing that I'm working on right now is building a DIY foam and concrete background and complete aquascape. This uh, sandstone rock, it looks great, it, it works well, the only problem is it's very heavy and it's difficult to move. So my thoughts are if I make a single permanent aquascape out of concrete and foam and build it into the setup, that'd make moving my tank a lot easier. I don't have to worry about uh, having a separate box for the sandstone so it doesn't break the tank while in transit and uh, uh, it'd be a lot lighter too. Uh, one downside though is it's going to be a lot more difficult to get out individual fish if I need to later on. But uh, with every uh, negative, there's always some positives. So I think the positives outweigh the, uh, the negatives in this case, and it'll give me another way to personalize my tank. Uh, another thing I'd like to get going is uh, painting <laughs> the, uh, the fixture. Uh, it looks kind of, uh, well, not as good as I'd like it to. <clears throat> so that, that's one thing I'd like to get done. And, I'll also end up painting the uh, the stand and tank trim because it's a little chipped up. Uh, I got this tank used off of Craigslist uh, about nine months ago, so uh, th that'll be one thing that I think will really um, help out and make the tank look a lot more uh, professional. Uh, one final thing I'd like to work on is introducing the rest of the fish. Right now I've got the blue zebra separate um, and the Bicher, Biker, or Bicher, whatever you want to call it. I'll put a little picture up right here. I want to get those two back into the tank. I tried with the Blue Zebra again uh, a couple days ago, and it did not go well. I, I scattered the rocks around, completely reset the territories, introduced her normally. I fed the fish uh, to divert attention away from her, and the Sokolofi just would not stop paying attention to her. He, um, I think I showed a video a couple weeks ago of him uh, showing his body off and I think it was uh, some mating, I guess, uh, activities or, or um, behaviors, but uh, she was not interested to say the least and she got the worst, worst of it uh, because of that. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reintroduce her back into this setup. Uh, right now she's living with my dad in his tank, uh, which we're currently building a new stand for. And this thing is sturdy. It can hold an elephant, so that, that's pretty sweet. Uh, and back to the Bicher, he's grown quite a bit um, since I had him in here last. I think he'll do fine, especially if I do a complete new aquascape. Uh, give him some little hiding places. He's going to grow up to be a nice, big, strong uh, creature that he, he should be. So those are my plans for the uh, next couple weeks, months, so often. I've got some other side projects that I'd like to work on, as well as uh, applying to graduate school, which is, I'm glad to say, I've done all the applications. I'm just talking to professors right now and waiting to hear back. So. There's good news on that department. Subscribe to keep updated and look to hear from you soon. Cheers.